Donnell Nurse. Could have been Adam Ernie, which would have been yeah. very fitting for me. Also, too. what would you give Adam Ernie? C plus. C minus. For the elbow. For the elbow. Yeah, he had a big elbow. He scored a goal. His goal against, I can't remember who that was, but that was a sick goal that he had. You remember that goal? Yeah, that he kind of like came across yeah, it and was, then it was banged nice. it in. That was a really good one. So that would have been great. I don't know. I think I would have given him a D minus. Oh, he sucked. You got to grade him on what he is, though. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fair. So C, I always gave you an effort. Never really anything. Too N-A crazy for out of Ernie. Not a is he? <laughs> he's gone now, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah I would assume. Uh, N-A for Ernie. Yeah, that's probably fair. He definitely won't get a playoff grade. But either way, the guy we're doing today is Darnell Nurse. And... Look, I think expectations are obviously high for a guy that makes as much money as he does when, like we kind of teased before, you look at the first half of the season, reliable, the mistakes were few, was really solid. Good top four defenseman for the Oilers. And then after the All-Star break, he just seemed to lose his rhythm and never really found it again. The playoffs were not good. Got better. There's no doubt about it. The playoffs got a lot better for him, but... I Couldn't get much got, worse at some We've points. got to grade it on the entire picture. So this is what we've done for, for Daryl. Downhill nurse. The great picture, too. Right? <laughs> it's an unreal <laughs> photograph. Um, 81 games played, 10 goals, 22 assists, 32 points, plus three on the season. I gave him a C for the regular season. I think when you put both halves together, it's, average is probably the best way to describe it. Playoff grade, I think he's maybe lucky to even get a C-, minus, but... To be fair, did pick it up after he kind of got called out in a Dallas series. Really wasn't that bad against LA. Actually pretty solid. Um, penalty killing was really good as well for him. I think I've mentioned this a bunch of times, but wasn't on the ice for a goal against on the penalty kill. That does add, that means something in the playoffs, especially. So C- minus for me. Let me know in the chat what you're kind of thinking. Chance of staying is 100%. Because 101%. He literally, <laughs> they can't trade him. He has a full no-move clause. Things would have to change very negatively yeah. for him to be moving and, and to wave at no trade. And clause. as I pointed out the other day, I do believe by the private jet photo that looked like a bachelor party photo yeah. for McD. And Darnell Nurse was in that photo. So I really don't think he's going anywhere. And my thing with the regular season grade, it's what I said to you right when we first started talking about it. Liam was. Up until the All-Star break, I'm giving Darnell Nurse in my mind. He was a B-minus B type player. I thought he was playing well. We all remember hashtag Nurse for Norris that was flying around. Maybe it was a little egregious to start the season. Then after the All-Star break, I don't know what happened. So I think I would say regular season C+. We're kind of splitting the airs there. Anyways, it's definitely not a B because the fall off was pretty dramatic. But he was very good for several months to start the season. And then the playoffs... I think C minus is a very, very fair grade. I mean, it was a point. He didn't have he, two assists. Yeah, yeah. Entire playoffs. We were, we were halfway through the Western Conference final. Uh, what does Ryan S say? C minus. You expect through, uh, I think it's C minus. I don't know if he's putting a dash between like his C minus. C minus. You expect more than 30 points out of a $9.5 million defenseman. And that's fair. And one thing to, I wrote about this two seasons ago now. Darnell Nurse was really, really good. Yeah, Nurse for Norris, that is all. <laughs> it's true. We were pushing for it. Aiden, Aiden O'Neill says that too. Like 10 goals isn't that bad. It's really not. And Darnell Nurse has been pretty good the last so the last four years. He had obviously a 16-goal season, which was what? I think it is contract. Yeah. Uh, nine goals, 12 goals, 10 goals. That's solid. That part is solid. I think the offense, when you look at it from a five-on-five -five perspective, has always been decent. Yeah, it's always been I'd good. I used the word good. A couple of years before, I wrote about him. 43 points, of, and they were basically all at 5-on-5. Five five. I think it was maybe 41 if he finished at 5-on-5. Five five. Full 82-game season. That's really good. And I understand we all want a lot more out of it, but and the numbers won't look pretty because of the money he makes. And again, we all know he doesn't deserve that much money. It's, it is what it is. You just didn't get that from him this year. I bet if you go back and look to it, I'd have to do a little bit more research on it, which probably would have been good for this show. Maybe you can check quickly just by looking on his NHL uh, game logs. I would assume the majority of those 32 points came at the start of the season, which shows how well he was playing. And another layer to it too for me is uh, how difficult it is to find him someone to play with. I think for a guy, for a guy that makes that much money, 
So this is the point I want to make to Ryan's comment here. You expect more than 30 points out of that. I also expect my $9.25 million player to maybe play with better partners yeah. than Cody CC. But once again, it's an argument we've seen go both ways because I've seen like Brett Kulak, but it's for a small sample size in the playoffs, play with Cody CC and it didn't weigh down his game. I think it's just the the mesh of these two that just kind of it brings each other down, to be completely honest. What do you think about that point? I yeah, I can't stand that pairing at all. I just think they they just don't gel together at all, and it doesn't make any sense to me that they're consistently thrown together. Next season, if CC stays, if CC goes, whatever it is, I don't think he can be here because I don't think they can afford him. Quite frankly, they just can't see the ice together. I think you've got to go into the season with the mix of him and Broberg, which did work and gradually got Nurse's game going again. Obviously, he banged home a few more goals couple of goals in the playoffs, two two goals, and one in the final, one in the other one. Some uh, beauty stretch passes. Yeah, he was solid. So not ideal season for him overall, but. I think he's stapled into that top four yet again. You just hope he finds something with Broberg, and yeah. maybe Broberg can help elevate his play, but it's all wishful thinking. What are your expect? What is, yeah, what are your expectations for that pair in next season? Like, Do you think, I guess there's a few parts to it. One, do you think they last the season? Do you think that'll be like, Kate, this is the duo, we're going with it? And two, is it going to work for long term, I guess you could say? We just saw it in a 12-game span. It maybe wasn't even that long. It might have been like a six-game span, seven-game span. We haven't seen them. We saw them work together well against two teams. Over a playoff series, it's a lot different. How long is that going to last? I'm not sure. I think you got to start out the year, right? And it's like kind of the same argument where Tyler's made with staple Dylan Holloway to Leon Dreisaitl's wing for the first 20 games. I think you got to give Broberg a solid 15 game stretch there. Top four with Nursey. And from yeah. everything I saw in the playoffs, I totally believe in Philip Broberg. I'm wishful thinking and I have no choice, but to believe, but yeah. I totally believe it's always, it sits there in the back of my head. Right. When I'd be like, man, imagine nurse and cleft bomb as in that top four to go with Ekholm and Bush. Well, Broberg's the second coming, the closest I'll get to an Oscar Clefbaum. So I'm excited to see what happens. They have they have the potential to be an unreal second pairing. I just I don't know if it's going to align well enough with their career arcs right now. But yeah, Broberg looked really damn good in the playoffs, dude. He did, he did look really really good. Uh, a few comments in the in the chat here. What does this one say? Under Lance, I said it once before and I screwed it up. Okay, whatever. Uh, Nurse and Bro, this one. Nurse and Broberg is the potential to be a solid pairing. I would agree. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, given the runway, same same commenter. Given the runway till the trade deadline and get someone at that point if you need be. I do really like the idea. I do think this blue line, no matter what it kind of forms out to be, has proven that they are actually pretty solid at They'll times. And out. and you know that CC clue like pairing, good third pairing. Extremely overpaid third pairing. You can't be paying six million for two guys on your third pairing. Either way, it's a spot you're in. They can get you across the line, and that's what kind of kind of matters. Uh, Lance Kane made a funny comment further up. Honestly, I'm probably overpaid too. I'm not giving any money back. Maynard Nugent Spivey agreed. Uh, there's there. one other comment here too. Uh, Dayan said, "Playoffs were rough for us. D for Daryl for me. That plus minus was painful. Yes, it was. Uh, it doesn't show up quite on his uh." On his hockey DP page, but what he was easily the worst in the in the in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Playoffs minus nine. So he picked it up actually. I think he was twenty-five games played minus nine. I'm thinking he Six was points. close to like minus sixteen or something like that at yeah, one point. Yeah, it was point. pretty bad at one point. Yeah. Um, Maynard said, "Think yeah. about Clef Baum and Lawson often." Yeah, that is. Amen, uh, brother. Amen. That was a tough one. Uh, so- Sergeant Battle said, "Nurse and CC is a toxic." <laughs> <laughs> toxic couple in high school that breaks up and gets back together every other week everyone can see it's a bad pair and there's just nothing you can do about it it's true love it it's is, fate. It is that to is fate. incredibly yeah. accurate battle that is yeah um sergeant Matt, I'll put in another one too ekholm bouchard Broberg, clef bomb kulak lawson somewhere in the multiverse Oh. Maybe maybe in Deadpool's verse. Nope, nope, doesn't exist. Aaron, don't let <laughs> yeah. don't go down that rabbit hole. It's don't not real. The multiverse hole. is only real in movies, folks. Lance said we're the best D pairing we got. So there we go. We'll roll with that. Thank Thanks, you. Lance. I can't skate. I can.
What's up, Nation citizens? If you like that video, then you need to be subscribed to the Oilers Nation YouTube. Podcasts, live shows, exclusive interviews and analysis, everything you need from your favorite voices at Oilers Nation. And you don't want to miss any of it, so hammer that subscribe button.